Eric, I can't believe the day is finally here. Between our good times and our bad times, we've still came out on top and it was only for the best because after today I will have the honor and privilege to call you my husband. You are my soulmate, my other half, the piece of my heart that I never knew I was missing. I promise to love you forever and always. Love, Haley. So to all the relatives and friends of Eric Stewart and Haley Hansford, I welcome you today to a beautiful ceremony of joy and celebration, whereby each one of us is witness and has the opportunity to bless the mutual vows of marriage between Eric and Haley as they become united today in holy matrimony. Let us join in this special celebration of love as both bride and groom commence the most sacred of all human relationships. Eric, do you take Haley to be your lawfully wedded wife, to laugh with her in joy, to grieve with her in sorrow, to grow with her in love, and to be faithful to her alone? Yes. And Haley, do you take Eric to be your lawfully wedded husband, to laugh with him in joy, to grieve with him in sorrow, to grow with him in love, and to be faithful to him alone? I do. So Eric, as you place this ring on Haley's finger, if you would repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed, and with it I give to you all the treasures of my mind, all the treasures of my heart, and all the treasures of my soul. With this ring, I thee wed, and with it I give to you all the treasures of my mind, all the treasures of my heart, and all the treasures of my heart. Remember, love does not consist of gazing into each other's eyes as it does in both of you looking in the same direction. Eric and Haley, by the power vested in me by the province of Ontario, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may seal your vows with a kiss.
So ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and privilege to present to you the newest married couple in Dorchester, Mr. and Mrs. Stewart. <laughs> People have been asking me, are you nervous about the big day? My answer has been no, not at all, because I know how amazing these two are together. You two have been through so much and came through so strong. We're so proud of you. I can honestly say that if I had to pick someone for Haley to spend the rest of her life with, I couldn't have picked anyone better than Eric. I remember the day she met Eric. She refused the idea that she was crushing on him. But slowly as she spent more time with him, her feelings for him turned into something real. And she was so happy every time she would speak of him and their time together. These days, she's the happiest I ever seen her and it warms my heart. It's been a joy watching them go through the ropes together. Over the years, Eric and Haley's relationship grew from cowboys and cowgirls on Friday and Saturday nights to buying a house and their fur baby together. If there is one thing we all learned over the past year is that we should never take our friendship for granted. You will never know how thankful I am and everyone else is in this room for how strong you are. Haley, you'll never know how thankful I am and everyone else in this room is for you staying by Eric's side, believing in him, walking him down the road to recovery. Thank you for loving him through the years. Eric and Haley, here's to both of you. The happy, the sad, the good and bad, Here's to the next chapter of our lives together. May they even be greater than the first chapter. I wish you all the best and love you both. <laughs>